Hello, it's Elder here, and today I want to talk to you about these two knives made by Off Grid Knives. This one here is the OG 220, and this one here is the OG 219. OG stands for Off Grid, not Original Gangster, just a sidebar. Uh, anyway, get sent a lot of knives to review. Many of them never make it to uh, the CoachHelder.com website. These two did, and uh, let me get into some detail on why these two knives did make the cut. I've been reviewing off-grid knives uh, for a couple years now, and they just seem to get better and better. Quality's better, more attention to detail. They uh, recently upgraded their manufacturing plant, and they came out with a bunch of new models, including these two. Uh, the reason why I am reviewing both of them at the same time is that they are pretty identical, besides, of course, the color and the actual handle. The blades on these rapid-fire models are made of OS-8 Japanese steel, and they are cryogenically treated. That type of treatment allows the blade to perform uh, much better, last longer, and uh, usually reserved for knives with a heftier price tag, uh, usually found in our uh, Special Forces community, so on and so forth. So the fact that you can get this type of uh, treatment on a blade or this type of quality at a budget price uh, definitely uh, was something that I wanted to share with you. As I alluded to earlier, the main difference between these two rapid fire models is the actual handle. The uh, OG219 has this G10 composite handle, resin fiberglass mixture, makes it very grippy. Uh, the, on the other hand, we have the OG220 that has this scalier uh, type handle. Once again, all about personal preference. Both of them are relatively good to go, whether you're handling and operating in uh, an environment where you have alcohol all over you, sweating, which is usually an issue of mine, uh, rain, or even blood. The blade itself is uh, pretty beefy, incredibly sharp. I mean, definitely razor sharp. And it has this nice serrated edge here also that'll uh, do some serious damage. Uh, it's uh, made to be able to be deployed with just one hand. So you could, you could index it with your index finger, rapidly deploy it that way, close this here with the body, close it back down, or you can actually use the uh, thumb to drive it float forward and deploy it that way. So it's nice to be able to have both of those options. Once again, usually reserved for uh, knives with a heftier price tag. Now the pocket clip itself is also uh, very well made, well designed. It's really on there, gonna stay on there, not really loosen up on you. It does come with three screws, uh, which is nice, which uh, makes the integrity even that much more on the uh, clip, especially for those of us that do carry it in our pocket. And you could also adjust the clip, so you can put it up here so it allows you to carry it tip up or uh, tip down, depending on your preference and how you decide to train. Speaking of training, uh, the teacher in me definitely wants to harp on the safety aspect. Make sure that you, if you do choose to carry this blade or any blade, be sure to practice with it open it up, deploy it, feel comfortable with it. If you're gonna carry it in your pocket or wherever you're gonna uh, carry it, be sure to practice over and over deploying it and uh, feel comfortable with it, make it a part of you. If not, it's just going to end up being a liability. And uh, I don't want that for you at all. I also wanted to bring up that these uh, rapid fire models come in an off-grid box. So if you are giving it as a present, uh, it's pretty cool as far as the, the appearance. If I could figure out how to uh, put this back. <laughs> I guess it does go like this. So pretty form-fitting, good presentation if you are giving it as a gift. Another reason why I gravitated and like these uh, rapid-fire models is because they remind me of my EDC, my everyday carry, which is this Zero Tolerance 0301 model. Now, by no means am I saying that uh, these rapid-fire models are in the same league as this uh, Zero Tolerance. What I am saying is that many of the features of why I choose to carry this zero tolerance on a daily basis are found in these knives. But keep in mind that these knives are probably about one seventh of the cost of this zero tolerance model. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a folder that has a lot of the features that the big boys have at pretty much a budget price, definitely take a look at these rapid fire models. Uh, I think they're gonna impress you the same way that they've impressed me. This is Helder. I hope that you found this review helpful.